Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mini GT Tarmac Works Shmi 150 Collection McLaren Senna in Cerulean Blue. And I picked up this up from my friend Jimmy over at Surplus Goodies. At the time of recording this review, there was only three of these left on their eBay store. I'll link it down in the description below if it's sold out by the time you watch this. Check out their eBay store anyways. They always have great product for sale on their eBay store. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. It comes in a different style box that you'd see with uh, Mini GT and everything, being that this is a collaboration between Mini GT and Tarmac Works. So we do have their logos up at the top there. We've got Shmi 150 and a render of the car or the model itself right there on the front. We do have McLaren Senna, Cerulean Blue, limited production run of 4,500 pieces. Bottom of the box here, we have his number plate wrapping around it, number 272, collab model, all the social media handles for both Mini GT, Tarmac Works, and Shmi 150. You can follow and like all of their social media handles. Top of the box here just features the side of the car that wraps around to this side, scale model 164. Bottom of the box or back of the box just has all your legal information your TSM model hologram, and your official product for McLaren logo right there. So yeah, that is the packaging. What I want to do now is pause the video. When we get back, we'll take a closer detailed look at the Shmi 150 collection McLaren Senna in Cerulean Blue. Stay tuned. Be right back. All right, got the car out of the box. And if you were going to get just one Mini GT McLaren Senna, you might as well just get the ultimate version of it, and that is Shmi 150s. I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning in cerulean blue. They did a phenomenal job replicating the real car, I'd have to say. So we'll start off by zooming in so you can see this in better detail. Hopefully you can see all that. But in the center there, we do have the McLaren logo. The paint looks absolutely stunning. Got the uh, center caps and body color matching paint, as you expect. Of course, the accents, like the splitter down here, up here up on top, is all in like a dark navy blue. Same with the mirrors. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but you got the cerulean blue body color, and then you got the accents of like a navy blue up here and on the splitter. Back here on the end plates of the rear wing. And the top of the wing is all in that body color, or in the uh, navy blue, as well as the snorkel up on the uh, roof. You see the interior. The car is right-hand drive, which is accurate to the real vehicle. You do have the plastic windows in the top of the roof on the door, even down on the side. Of course. There in the rear window you can sort of see some of the engine, all the aerodynamic louvers in the back, there is your exhaust, got the tail lights in the back there, and of course the accurate Shmi uh, number plate in yellow. Driver's side of the car, like I said, same as the left side, no major differences or QC issues. It says have the vinyl rubber, actually no, that's not the traditional vinyl rubber mirrors that we'd see on a normal release from Mini GT. That's a very sturdy, that's either plastic or, actually I think that's part of the casting. I don't think that's, that might not be a separate piece, being that how tough that is. I think that's just, a, that's a connected piece to the actual tooling, so that's different. Bottom of the car, it's two rivet construction. Got the McLaren Senna Mini GT logo. There's your tire tread looking looking phenomenal. Go ahead and zoom in here again real quick. Of course, as I mentioned, there's the McLaren logo. I do apologize if that is not focusing. That is a really tiny logo. The metallic paint in the cerulean blue looks good. There's the navy blue, as I mentioned. Down even here, you got inserted details for your headlights as well. But that's what you'd expect out of a Mini GT release. Here's the back of the car in close detail. It even says McLaren, I believe, underneath the exhaust there. Number plate 
correct. There's the detail at the top of the wing again. And there's the engine. Even the side skirt down there is in that navy blue. So yeah, it's a phenomenal release. As I mentioned in the opening of this review, at the time of recording, there's still three available through Surplus Goodies. So I'll link it in the video description below. If it's not available when you go to uh, visit their eBay store, look around their eBay store. They have plenty of uh, cool releases for you to possibly purchase. So yeah, that is my review of the Mini GT Tarmac Works Shmi 150 Collection McLaren Senna in Cerulean Blue. If you enjoyed this review, and I hope you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week. So be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAstrain69. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review.